In the center of the South Aegean Sea, at the crossroads of ancient maritime trade routes, lies Paros, a truly unique island of natural beauty drenched in the Mediterranean sun. There, the Aegean Diving College operates from March until the end of November, offering courses and very special dives. The school is run by Peter Nicolaides, a very experienced professional diver, oceanographer, biologist and offshore engineer. Peter has worked with many expeditions in the Aegean, notably National Geographic Foundation and uh, Jacques-Yves Cousteau with um, his famous Calypso. The area is rich in wrecks of the past, coastal underwater structures, underwater caves and impressive rock formations of volcanic origin. This small cargo ship hit the reef in 1980 and has become a favorite dive spot. The 7 meter, 350 horsepower rigid inflatable is moored over the wreck of the Mariana and divers start exploring and observing marine life. Maximum depth here is 25 meters but the wreck can be explored and seen fully by swimming around the 15 meter mark. The cave we're exploring now is a very large karstic formation with an opening the size of a cinema screen and a maximum depth of 12 meters. This cave was dry about 10,000 years ago and the dry space inside is covered in colorful stalactites. The seabed bottom and the sides of this karstic cave are covered in coral and sedentary anthozoa inhabited by spawning shrimp and spiny or rare slipper lobsters. Colorful sponges and briar zones complete the wall mosaic. The airspace inside is very large and divers can float on the surface and explore the stalactites. Sea anemones hang upside down and visitors can see the sea level mark created a few thousand years ago around the walls at a depth of about three meters. There is evidence that this cave was inhabited about 10,000 years ago during the Mesolithic period. There are three openings to this cave and all are very safe to go in and out of. Ambient light is plenty, but at light helps you appreciate the rich colors. Peter has recently discovered extensive underwater structures all around Paros, Antiparos and the uninhabited island of this Potico. So he flew in a helicopter recently to record the magnitude of these curious structures carved into the limestone bedrock. These channels, or ruts possibly, are found in at least three areas around Paros and are very very long and carved with incredible precision. So far nobody has offered a plausible explanation apart from vague references to ships' slipways. Peter and the Aegean Institute have been studying these structures and have shown that these structures must have been used to load enormous marble blocks. The famous marble of Paros, Lignite, onto boats. These structures are truly of pharaonic dimensions. Parian marble is and was of the best quality, so many renowned statues like Venus of Milos were carved out of it. 
Peter maintains that these ruts were used as guides to roll the marble-carrying sleds onto ships. The aerial shots show clearly the precision and extent of these undiscovered structures. We are now at the site of an 1850s wreck of historical importance. Around this rocky reef, starting at a depth of three and a half meters, lie the remains of a large vessel at the time when the transition from sails to steam was made. A very long steel mast with a huge moray residing inside lies at about 16 to 18 meters and looks very much like the wooden masts of that period with belaying pins and all. This unique site remains in pristine condition as Peter discovered it a few years ago and nobody else is aware of its existence. Peter is currently applying through the Aegean Institute and Mediterranean SOS organization, both not-for-profit organizations, for European Union funds to establish a network of marine protected areas in the South Aegean, the Kiklavis. In the past few years, Peter has also discovered an underwater ancient seawall connecting Paros to Antiparos. This was probably used as a bridge between the neighboring islands and possibly used also as a fish weir by the inhabitants of Saliagos, a little island in the channel six and a half thousand years ago. The island of Saliagos was excavated in 1964 by Lord Renfrew and yielded amazing findings now exhibited at the Paros Archaeological Museum. These large stone blocks, half completed, lie a few meters south of the seawall. One has to imagine of the South Aegean Sea about 18,000 years before present, when most of the islands were joined together, as the sea level was then 130 meters lower than today. Armed with this knowledge, Peter has managed to locate a number of historical sites underwater. The sandy seabed parts around Paros are covered by Posidonia seagrass meadows. This is an European Union protected habitat under the Natura 2000 legislation. The Aegean Diving College and the Aegean Institute are involved in research projects that study this rich marine forest. Next to Paros lies Antiparos and the uninhabited islands of Despotico and Strongilo. Again, in shallow water, Peter has discovered some very interesting structures like walls, tombs, foundations and a well. All these structures are accessible to snorkelers, so non-diving friends and families may join us in our daily expeditions of discovery. For further information, please search Google for Peter Nicolaides and Paros.